and welcome to Lady Parker Wine Reviews. Now I know it has been a wee while since I last did a New Zealand wine review, but I think that now is the most opportune time to be able to showcase uh, a quite a special wine, I think, for New Zealand. It means quite a lot, and uh, particularly coming up to Christmas time now, we're, what, three days away? Goodness, it's gone fast. Uh, so I thought I might, um, I sort of speak, I guess, relaunch Lady Parker Wine Reviews with um, something from the North Island, in particular from Hawke's Bay and the Gimlet Gravels, which New Zealand is so well known for, particularly it's particularly the Reds, and for that reason it is the Red. So here we have the Tiawa 2004 Boundary. Now this is Tiawa's flagship red wine and um, something that they've built their reputation on. They were originally Tiawa Farm and in 2002 that was changed to um, just purely Tiawa, which is an um, an abbreviation, so to speak, of Tiawa or Te Atua, which means um, the, God, the river of God. And that is purely a reference to the rivers that uh, that flow through underneath the gravelly, um, the gravelly soils that make Gimlet Gravel so unique. And they're really a life-giving river um, to those the vineyards that um, lie atop it. So the, um, Julian Robinson, uh, Robinson, Robinson sorry, who's an American financier, he purchased um, Tiawa Farm in 2002 and um, since then it's been going from strength to strength and they've been producing some fantastic wines so I'm really quite excited to be able to try this Tiawa um, Boundary 2004 which Aunt, Mc Aunt McKenzie um, kindly gifted, gifted to me when I was um, up in Hawke's Bay not too long ago um, during winter time so I'm, I'm, it's been sitting in my cellar for a while now and um, purely for the purpose to be able to review and share it with you all. So um, here it is. Now it's been decantering for a while. It's um, quite a novelty for me to be able to use my decanter because I don't get to use it often. Um, but I thought purely because it's such a um, fantastic, you go, proof, uh, fantastic wine, and it's and it's got so much bottle age behind it. I think it um, does it justice to be able to ear and and, um, and really be able to breathe a little bit to exude those wonderful qualities that we so look for in aged wine. There we go, look at that, it's a wonderful um, sort of, uh, ruby colour, that's sort of typical of a Bordeaux blend, but it's also got, also got wonderful sort of brown, tawny um, colours developing, especially on the meniscus, the rim out there, you can see, beautiful. No oh, nose, gosh, it's such a full, luscious nose, really, really quite complex. Um, I instantly get a lot of... Uh, some menthol, obviously from the Cabernet Sauvignon, so um, some Cabernet used in the blend there. And some wonderful savoury notes, some dried herbs, some game as well. And of course your wonderful sort of fruit components there as well. I get lots of, um, quite a bit of like sort of brackish blackberry and blueberry. Probably from uh, the blueberry particularly is quite a characteristic of Cabernet Franc, which is also used in the boundary. Uh, and little lovely sort of cocoa, chocolatey and I get some nice smoky um, some earthy, warm earth characters as well so the growing season for the 2003-2004 vintage um, harvest was actually was quite good, they had um, it was a particularly cool spring quite a warm summer and then a cool February but then really nice dry conditions over the harvest so provides some really ripe fruit to be able to be picked and all the fruit is hand picked so you get some wonderful, lots of spice, lots of wonderful perfumes, and as I said, you know, that, that wonderful fruit um, componentry coming in there. So 18 months in French oak as well. And um, the winemaker at this time <coughs> was Jenny Dobson, and she's been with um, Tiawa for a long, long time. Um, and Aunt McKenzie is now just taking over um, Tiawa winemaking side of things or is, is an integral part of it now as well so, so we're 80% Merlot 15% Cabernet Sauvignon and 5% Cabernet Franc which makes it up, let's taste this mm. Mm. again some really nice acidity some good tannin, still a really good tannin there which indicates that it can go along a lot more um, if, you, if you're just enough to sell that 
again it's court closure so um, you should, wouldn't have shouldn't particularly if you store it well have any problem with the cork um, <coughs> what else have I got here it's yeah, a nice medium body and uh, yeah it's got quite a really nice length as well mm. really enjoyable so you can purchase the Tiawa 2004 boundary for around the $40 mark which isn't um, particularly uh, well, it's, you know, it's very reasonable for such a, a wine that has had such a lot of bottle age and um, is you know the flagship wine only really quality premium fruit that's used and um, hey perfect for a bit of venison if you're going to throw have, um, a bit of venison for Christmas day and um, perfect for if you're in that snowy Snowden in, uh, in the UK over at the moment or Europe um, but if not, it's perfect summer drinking too. I could quite easily enjoy this and sit outside. So, here we go. I'm going to give that uh, a rating of 91. So that is the Tiawa 2004 boundary. Thank you very much for watching Lady Park Wine Reviews, and I'll see you very shortly.